Hello, this is Rosanna Kelton with a video on the formal cause and effect analysis of three paintings I created for Project A, Painting 704 with Professor Williams. The cause and effect analysis will show the intensity, complexity, and unity of the works. I'm going to state initially that for all of my three paintings of homeless women, my hierarchy of emphasis begins in the eyes. Since the eyes are the mirror to the soul, they are the focal point in my paintings to, sh to show emotions. Hence, I work to create emphasis to the eyes. This is my first painting, and the subject matter again is the painting of a homeless woman that I call Sarah. Sarah is wearing a sari, a garment of clothing from India. The size of the painting is 16 inches by 20 inches. The material is oil painting on a rectangular canvas. The progression of the painting from a drawing to a finished painting follows the dynamic phi armature rectangle. I apply the rules of design organization, including the rules of thirds and pictorial thrust. There is a main vertical stroke that can be seen from the tip of the nose to the forehead. This creates visual unity and applies visual weight to the area of the face. This contrasting thrust creates complexity in the painting. Therefore, the painting is complex. The process uses an impressionist broken color technique with small strokes of color and no blending. The small strokes were applied with a palette knife. The key is that there is a variety of colors with similar values. The lack of continuity of color relationships accentuates the effect of light. Hence, the small strokes create the effect of light and form, and the painting achieves life independently. The two-dimensional surface is subverted by a three-dimensional effect, which becomes part of the physical intensity of the composition. There is a lack of blending of the oil painting strokes. The effect is a contrast in colors at a similar value scale. This creates complexity and unifies the elements of the facial structure. The subject of the next painting is June. June is homeless, scared, and yelling. The style that I use to create June is abstract realism. The painting has a size of 16 inches by 20 inches. In this painting, the hierarchy of emphasis is first the eyes and second the large screaming mouth. The progression of the painting from the drawing to the finished painting follows the dynamic phi armature rectangle. I apply the rules of design organization, including the rules of thirds, the rule of contrast, the rule of motion and the rule of equi equilibrium. There is contrast in the various cool colors and the warm colors and negative space that lead to balance. The effect is a dissonance and tension. The painting uses the rule of design organization to create movement, balance, and unity. The realism of the painting is in the representation of a homeless woman, June. The abstract part allows for a variety of style and expression. I use line, shape, color, texture, and pattern to create rhythm. The painting becomes a representation of a real-life image, but in an abstract reality. The painting shows a tension between the content image and the form, the paint itself. The effect is a tension between the image and the mark. This effect leads to the illusion of motion and while recorded energy that is greater than the implied motion of the subject, June, the homeless woman. In abstract realism, I am combining the elements of design with the elements of real life. The effect is a figurative representation using non-figurative design elements. This creates a realistic representation happening at different scales and different design elements. This painting has sublimity, a quality of intensity, and you keep returning your mind to it. This is June. 
The next painting, uh, my last painting, is a painting of Mary. Uh, she is another homeless woman. Uh, the painting is almost finished, and it is a realistic representation of Mary, uh, lonely and crying. The painting measures 16 inches by 20 inches. And in terms of composition, the hierarchy of emphasis is first in the focal point of the green eyes. This is a picture of Mary uh, when I first started uh, painting. This is the underpainting. And uh, what I did is uh, I used the dynamic uh, uh, rectangle, the five rectang rectangle um, armature to um, determine the composition. And I also did a sanguine uh, drawing, which I went and did an underpainting uh, with a burnt umber and, uh, and also media, diluted media. So this is what Mary looked like in the underpainting. I apply the rules of design organization, including the rules of thirds and the rules of spontaneous generation. The painting has a lot of secondary colors, such as orange, violet, and green. The secondary color scheme maintains an organized hue and value arrangement. There is emphasis in the work through the contrast of colors that holds the viewer's attention. The painting's texture and colors are combined together to create harmony. The effect is intensity and complexity that helps to create unity of the composition. I am looking um, to create uh, ICU, which is intensity, complexity, and unity in this painting.